Hi everyone, Adrienne Everhart coming from beautiful Chicago. I wanted to share the gorgeous marina here down at the Navy Pier. And I'm going to talk about ways a man can waste your time. You can really be in love and devoted to one man and be using your feminine energy techniques, be using all your skills, but yet this man just keeps delaying either a proposal or true commitment. And I have seen such powerful dynamite women really become entranced by these men who are not offering them any form of commitment or long-term marriage relationship, or they keep them engaged for a long amount of time or keep making promises or keep saying things like, oh, when the time is right, I'll propose. Or, You'll know when the time is right. And then meanwhile, the clock is ticking. Your life is going by and you really don't know if you have a commitment or if you're just dating or what's going on with this man. So there's a lot of confusion about feminine energy techniques and getting them to work on a specific guy. Whether this man becomes your long-term potential partner or if he's just here in front of you right now, he's here to teach you something. He's here to really show you something about your life and your journey on, on this planet. So no matter if you feel like you've been in a relationship a year or three years and it didn't really turn out to be what you want it to be, I don't want you to worry about that. I want you to look back and see what you've learned from that relationship and how you can apply what you've learned from that relationship into your current relationships. So step one is don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> don't beat yourself up over staying in a relationship for a long time and not getting what I call clarity. Or maybe you had clarity. You knew that this person didn't want to be married or in a long-term relationship, but you stayed by them anyway. So often we stay in a relationship, it's not going anywhere, we don't know if we're dating, we don't know if we're committed. The next part is getting clarity. Clarity is about having a conversation with your partner where you say to him, where do you see us going? You can also let him know, I want to be a wife one day. I'm curious how you feel. And these conversations are really just about getting clarity with him and letting him know you want to be a wife. Now, I've had women in the comments say, if I said that to my man, he would be out the door. So I want you to think about that that you have to tiptoe around your needs, your boundaries, and your desires as this beautiful woman. You know you want to be a wife. You know you want to be married. And at the same time, you also know your partner will abandon you if you let him know this as well. This doesn't really make sense, does it? So this is that trap that so many amazing women fall into is getting comfortable in a relationship that is going nowhere. You are essentially with a time waster. And I hate to tell you this, but men will do this. They will stay in a relationship that they know they don't want to be in because it's comfortable and it's familiar and they're having a good time. And then when they're ready to exit the relationship, they'll do so. So you end up not being married, not being engaged, not knowing where you are, living in limbo for years. I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to be able to get clarity, learn from past mistakes or past experiences you've had with men and how you can apply that to your current situation. So I will give you an example. I have a client that has repeatedly fell into dating relationships that become committed relationships without anyone really talking about it. And they look something like this. She will go on a few dates with a man and then have some sleepovers after at his house. He'll have sleepovers at her house. Before you know it, they've been together about six months and they're meeting each other's parents. They're going to brunch. They're introducing their children to one another. And it looks like you're in a relationship, but ultimately she knows he's not right for her, but it's comfortable. And she stays in the relationship because it feels good. And then the relationship has sort of an expiration date, usually around a year. And she will come back to me and say, oh my gosh, I knew this guy wasn't right for me. Why did I stay with him for so long? Well, and when, what she means by he isn't right for her is that he either didn't want to be committed, he didn't want to be married, they didn't have the same values long term. But a man will stay comfortable in that situation. He'll be fine. He'll ride it out for as many years as it takes. But then she comes back to me, I want to be a wife. She's turning 45 this year and she really wants to know like, gosh, am I going to get remarried again? 
And I have made her make a firm commitment with herself that she doesn't get into this, slide into that convenient uh, relationship where you believe you're committed without having these conversations about marriage. I want to be a wife someday. Where do you see us going? I'm curious what we are right now. I'm curious, what are we? And let the man answer it. And if the man ever dodges it with something like, I don't like labels, or I don't want to be called a boyfriend, you've got a problem. <laughs> you've got a man who's avoiding commitment because the right man is going to want to be with you and claim you and shout it from the rooftops with no doubts. So I have another client who for a long time was with a man and she kept letting him know she wanted to be a wife. And he kept brushing it off and was like, oh, you're going to be so surprised when I pop the question. She wasn't even engaged yet and had been in a relationship with this man for three years. So I kept telling her the same things over and over again, that if he wanted to propose to you, if he wanted to be engaged to you, he would ask you. He would not be waiting for the right time. So on my website, I have a very popular blog about walking away. And I believe almost any woman over 40 will have to walk away from a man to get him to realize what he's losing. Otherwise, he'll just kind of stay in this comfortable world with you. So when she really went to her partner and said, hey, I wanna know where do you see us going? I'm going to be walking away. Some truths came out about his marital status and not fully being separated and divorced from his wife in a legal way that would allow her to become a wife. And he never told her this. So I'm telling you this story and I'm sharing this with you because I do not want you to get into a time waster situation where you believe a man is on the same page as you, but you have not been able to have that clarity and that conversation that is needed to know you're both on the same page. So just to recap, I don't want you to beat yourself up if you found yourself in a situation where you're in a relationship for a long amount of time, you've invested all of this time with your partner, you're still not engaged, you're not married, your life isn't going anywhere with that person, you feel you're in this stagnant place. I don't want you to beat yourself up and talk down to yourself because this really takes away your shine. It doesn't help you in a positive way. Instead, I want you to look at what's happened, how it's unfolded, where you've missed the conversations, or where you've had the conversations and they've been dodged. I want you to just zoom back, get a realistic look of where you're at. Number two, I want you to get clarity. I want you to be able to have these uncomfortable conversations. So often women come to me and they say, oh, I can't say that to my partner. This is the person you wanna love and be married to for the rest of your life. You want to be able to have uncomfortable conversations with him and get clarity. Third, I want you to set a calendar on when you have these conversations and how long you're willing to stay in the relationship until you either see your man take some action and move forward or not. And understand, you've got to read my blog about why walking away works. I go in great detail as to why walking away. I know it sounds so scary and it sounds like the very thing you do not want to hear or do, but walking away works. Lastly, if you are unsure about how feminine energy in your life can work as a single woman or a woman in a relationship with a man and you want to be married, I really suggest you start with Fem Tools for Dating. Now in Fem Tools for Dating, it's on my website, everheartcoaching.com, Fem Tools for Dating has a complete roadmap that gives you all of these scenarios that you might endure and what you would do to every single one and how you would maneuver your dating relationship. I also teach you how to date like a feminine energy woman, how to put out your values and your boundaries without coming across as aggressive and intimidating, but in a way that is soft, feminine, alluring, and authentic to who you are. Now this program has helped so many women get engaged, married. I have loads of testimonials over on my Instagram channel. So go check those out. The links are below. If you've enjoyed this video, please take a moment, hit subscribe, hit that like button, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. All right, everyone, from beautiful Chicago, I highly recommend you go and visit Chicago. It is amazing. I went to Second City last night with my husband and we laughed so hard and we're going to the museum today. We've rented bikes and rode up and down Lake Michigan. It's just been amazing. This is a beautiful town, especially if you love water, really amazing food. Everyone here is so polite and nice. I really recommend visiting Chicago. Is this a big sundial? 
no, it's just a map of Chicago. All right. So tour touring. All right, everyone. Sending you much love. Bye bye.